Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to install or reinstall uh, Microsoft Office. Now, if you've bought Microsoft Office 2019 or 2016 from one of those sites, you're going to get a license key and you will need to sign up to a Microsoft account. Now, once you've signed up to your Microsoft account, if you reinstall Windows and do a fresh install, you'll probably know that you haven't got your Microsoft Office software on the system and uh, you will have a license key. Now, if you sign up this way by signing into your Microsoft account, you'll see that it's asking you to sign in or create a new account. Obviously, you don't want to create a new account. You want to sign into your original account, but then you're going to need to have your license key. Now, if you don't have your license key because it's in an email which is attached to this account, then this method will be a bit more tricky for you to get it to get installed. So you can see here, you would have to either create an email account or sign into an original one. So if I sign into an original one, what it will do is it will lead you to an area where it wants you to put in the product key. Now, of course, you've wiped the system clean now and you don't have that product key to hand and uh, it's embedded on the uh, system. So, and we've formatted that system. So what we're gonna need to do is log into our Microsoft account. And you can see here, it's asking you for the key. Now this is a much more easier and better way. Let me show you the way that I'm going to be doing it. And it's a lot easier to get hold of your software and get your license key. So rather than go through that method of um, activating, it's a lot easier just to sign into your local Microsoft Office Live account. As you can see here, once you sign into this account, uh, you get access to all of your paid software that you've bought from Microsoft. In this case, you can see Office Professional Plus 2019 and Office Professional Plus 2016. And yes, these both still do work. I bought Office uh, Professional Plus 2016 in 26th of September 2017. And yes, it still does activate. And yes, it still does work. So for all those disbelievers out there that try to trash uh, those license keys, it's still working. And so is 2019. I bought that on the 22nd of October 2018, and you can see it will still work. You've got your install button here and your view product key. This is where you can get your official product key that you purchased, and you've got your install there. So what you need to do is click on the install, and this will allow you to download and install straight away once you sign into your account without going through all that other palaver by putting in your license key. And it can be very difficult if you don't have the license key to hand. You can see the software is now starting to download and it is coming down from Microsoft's own website. Now you won't need to view your product key or use your product key because what will happen is it will ask you to activate once we install the software. I'll show you that bit a little bit later on, but once we get this downloaded and installed, we will then be able to activate and connect our account to uh, this software so it will know and check to see whether it's a legitimate piece of software and license key so for all you disbelievers about these license keys that say they deactivate and they also don't work this is the proof for you so you can go ahead and install this it does take a bit of time to install now you can head over to your account which is your Microsoft account and how you can get these uh, keys and your products what you've bought from them you can see here, you can go over to services and subscriptions. When you go in there, this is where all your software that you've purchased uh, from them will be listed. So when you buy those keys, this is where it will be listed, okay? Because once it activates, it puts it into your services and subscriptions area, which is in your Microsoft account, which is then connected to that software and that license. So you can see it's now installing and I will just let this continue and get this installed and I'll move into the activation part and you'll be able to see that. So the reason why I've made this simple tutorial is because when people buy license keys, uh, they always ask me what happens when I reformat my system. Uh, people have been telling me that it won't activate and it won't uh, be able to download it. Well, you can re-download it. You just need to log into your account because it's attached to your Microsoft account and that's where all your software licenses will be stored. So what we're gonna do here now is open up Outlook because I need to get this set up for uh, my mail client here. So I'm gonna pin this to the taskbar here and I'm gonna open it up. Now once we've got this open, we can go ahead 
and uh, accept their license terms and agreement here. So we're just going to click accept. Now we need to do here is close this window off and then we can activate our software. So as you can see here, once we close this off, before we can do anything, we need to activate and I want to activate the software over the internet recommended. I've done this tons of times when I formatted my system and as soon as I do this, it will activate pretty much that simple. And the reason why is because it's a legitimate piece of software with a legitimate license and it's now activated. So that's for all you disbelievers out there. So we've now done that part. And all we need to do here is put in our details to get our emails back. And I'll go ahead and quickly do that. So I'm going to put in my email address here. I've blurred it out. And uh, once I've done this, I can move on to the next stage. So just going to quickly put the email address in and then connect to my account. There we go. Then connect. And what this will do is start to add my email account to there. So it's going to start adding this and check to see whether it can get it synced. So you can see here now we've got the security alert asking to add a certificate. So I'm going to say yes here. And of course it wants to allow the website to configure my settings. So I'm going to allow this to go through. And of course it wants to do some other configurations. So just let that do its thing. And if you get something went wrong, it may be that you've got the wrong type of setting selected. So I'm going to select IMAP and then put in my password here and then connect to see whether it connects. And you can see now, as soon as I put the right setting in, it wants to connect and wants to sync my account to there. And it will pull down all my emails into that account there. And that's what it's doing right now. And that does take a bit of time depending on how many emails you've got on there. If you've been deleting your emails on the server, then that won't pull down any other emails. But that's basically it. So if you've purchased one of those cheap keys and you want to reinstall it, that's basically how you do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.